Now, demographics are things like age, gender, ethnicity, income, location, education, and employment. And this information is useful to think about with your target audience. But you can also think about some psychographic elements like personality, values, attitudes, interests, opinions, and lifestyles to get even more specific. I want to give you a quick example of how psychographics can be perhaps more useful than demographics. What do a 53-year-old CEO who's making multiple six figures and a 23-year-old college student who is essentially broke have in common and what kind of products might they both want? How about a meal delivery kit? Even though this could be a little bit of a luxury to some college students, many would shell out for this because it's really convenient and they're super busy and maybe they are not that well versed in cooking yet. A CEO might have similar needs and similar values like limited time, a necessity for convenience, or a desire for healthy homemade food. And even though these two individuals are in super different demographic groups, they might have some psychographic overlap. So when we look at this, we can think a little bit more about how limiting demographics can be and how psychographics can be a more useful way to segment markets sometimes. Demographics definitely have their place and for specific products and services, there might be some really key demographic indicators which will determine which market segment you want to go for, but I would say in most cases, focusing more on psychographic elements and allowing demographics to be secondary can put you in a safer spot, allow you to avoid harmful stereotyping, and ensure that you're capturing and serving many different individuals who might belong to super different demographic groups but all have the same core desires.